Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to mod SMT5 Vengeance on Steam. It's pretty simple, but there's three different methods depending on what mod you want to download, and mostly like whenever it was made. Okay, so my personal favorite method for modding SMT5 is just going straight into the game directory like this. You want to click Browse Local Files, Project, Content, Packs, and then you're going to want to create a folder titled Mods with this symbol in front of it. It has to be like that or otherwise it won't work. Alright, so you drag in whatever mod you downloaded and then this only works for mods with pack files. So if you open it, if you extract it and you see a pack file, then you know it'll work with this method. But if you see an Unreal Essentials file, then that's a Reloaded 2 type mod. But yeah, this one, very simple easy to delete mods and works with most of them and then next up we have the reloaded 2 method where if you don't have reloaded 2 downloaded just check the link in the description and download the setup.exe from the link once you have that downloaded you just have to go into it and click add an application and you're gonna want to find your smt5 directory and then usually you'd click on this e that exe file to set it up but you actually have to do something different you have to go binaries win64 and then win shipping and I already did this so I'm not going to do it but once you did that you'll have a new directory for your game and then you can just go straight to game banana which is where you should be downloading all your mods for SMT5 Vengeance and you scroll down until you see a reloaded to one click install and you just need to click that and allow it to open your reloaded to and then with that it's already just in the game and once you're ready to play just click launch application and this will work with your mods folder you just made as well as reloaded to mods downloaded And now we are now Bino as a human. Alright, and now that your mods are working, just download a bunch of mods, have fun with whatever you want to download, and uh, I hope you found this guide useful. Thanks for watching.